What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dean. So cool. Listen, we got a Dean's take for you guys today. All right. I just came out the shower, just came from the gym. I feel great. My testosterone levels through the roof, right? As an American, I see knife incidents as the most craziest thing possible. Yeah, you guys say we have guns, but you guys have knives. Knives is a lot more personal. Uh, you know, I, I, I just can say that. Knives is for you to poke somebody repeatedly for them to, you know, be deceased. That's crazy. You are insane. Uh, I, I believe Europe is a lot more crazier than the U.S., but that's just me. With that being said, Norwegian streamer Mystics, a uh, good streamer, me and him came up together uh, in the streaming community. He's a nice, he has a nice Norwegian following. Uh, the Norwegian community is crazy. Uh, crazy because their their ancestors are, are massive Vikings and, you know, the, Jesus Christ. They're, they're just built different, okay? They're, they're built different. Now, this situation happened a couple of days ago. I don't know when you guys see this video, but Mystics was walking around doing an IRL stream when an individual came up to him with a knife. Now, I do speak a little Norwegian. I can break down and decipher the situation, okay? And uh, such out the punk cake for my Norwegian teacher. Mystics, he's live right now. This is his Twitch channel. He's, uh, once again, he's a Norwegian streamer. You guys should go give him a follow, to be honest with you. Now, this is what we're talking about. This is the situation that, I, I to be honest with you, I don't even know how he got to this point. But once again, I will decipher it for you right before this part okay the guy said hey mystic said hey, hello you know uh because i was you know i i was looking through the rest of the video at this point the guy in the red tracks who said you uh mystic said me the boss it's a running meme all right and norwegian twitch community okay red the, red, the guy the kid in the red tracks who said give me a hundred knock for the for a bus ticket all right at that point mystics uh somehow drops his balls upon upon the streets of norway and says can't you sell that hideous tracksuit of yours okay and then this is where it kicks off he said he said uh what do you what the, he said what the f did you say what the f did you say man come say that to my face i have a knife and then and then and then that's when mystic said huh he said, what the F did you say? What the F do you mean? My hideous tracksuit. Uh, the girlfriend then comes and runs and says, calm yeah, down. Mean, All right. Mystic it's says, machine, you're on camera, brother. Okay. Don't do this. This is stupid. Okay. Gray hooded kid. Uh, gray hooded kid, you know, being the best friend that he is, says, hey, listen, brother. Listen, your tracksuit is fire. Oh, man, this is him coming up right here. He said, the tracksuit is fire, bro. It's fit. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't do this, you know? Uh, the red tracksuit kid then says, listen here, man. Hey, he said, turn around. He said, hey, Mystic says, once again, dropping his balls on the tables. Hey, man, you're on camera. Relax, all right? Don't come here. Don't come here asking me for money, okay? This guy said, shut your mouth. Once again, my Norwegian is not the best, but, you know, it's it, it's getting there, okay? It's getting there. It's getting there, okay? Um, Mystics repeatedly starts to walk away, and this kid is really pissed off. You know, he's been caught 4K with a knife. I'm pretty sure knife uh, knife situations in Europe is, is pretty intense, and that's a pretty big knife. So this kid could get really screwed over right now if Mystics goes to the police. We'll, we'll get to we'll get into that later. Okay. Um, Mystics again turns around uh, to stream towards. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, he said, you're on camera, bro. Uh, he said, I don't give a F about the camera. Followed him by slapping the camera. Mrs. said, do not touch the gear. Uh, this kid is really pressed about his tracksuit, okay? He's, he's still asking about why, what do you mean my hideous tracksuit? It's 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 just not the best tracksuit. It's all red tracksuit. It's all right. It's kind of mid, to be honest with you, in fashion statements in 2023. But uh, the red tracksuit kid is slurring his words. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a track. I'm gonna have a regular conversation with you. I'm trying to talk to you properly. All right. Uh then Mystic said that you would have asked properly. Red track suit says, I'm asking you nicely, can I please borrow 90 knocks for the train? Cause I have to go home. Okay. At this point, all right, we can we can continue into it, okay? It kinda it doesn't escalate, it kind of de-escalates from that point. It says uh, Mystic says, no, you said give me a hundred for the buzz. You could have said that. Hey, what's your name? And it would have been something completely different. Basically trying to, you know, talk down to the kid. The kid's young, you know, he's trying to, he, he's probably trying to make a song after this situation, to be honest with you. you know, the Norwegian rap community is pretty insane. Red Tracksuit's kid then says, yes, I'm sorry. And Mystic said, sorry for saying about your tracksuit. Red Tracksuit's kid said, it's okay. It's okay. Obviously this kid was lit. Um, You know, you can, they can drink at a very young age and, you know, Europe is kind of crazy to me. But, you know, it's, it's whatever. 
Uh, there we go. So Retroactive Kid then says, okay, we are friends now. Mystic Sin said, then says, yeah, yeah, just speak to people properly. Uh, now the Retrax, once again, can I please borrow 90 Knox? If I had cash, I would have given it to you, bro. Retrax kid said, thank you very much. Mystic said, yes. Um, then they get into, you know, they get, they get into exchanging pleasantries, okay, with about what he's recording, blase, blase, blase. Mystic being the good guy that he is and the man that he is, to be honest with you, I, it would have been a completely different situation for me. I would have screamed like a little girl because I feel like getting stabbed is by far the most painful thing ever. You ever been stabbed by mechanical pencil it's not the best to be honest with you but that's just me it come to find out later on that the kid in the tracks who was apprehended by the police short while after this event okay uh once again he was live uh mystics is pretty uh big in the norwegian community so they knew exactly no worries not that big of a country you know you, you probably know exactly where this alley oh that's right there off of uh cradle street and they, they probably went straight there all right but uh, at that point, the cops were looking for where the knife was. You know, the kid showed them where the knife was. Mystics was contacted by the police. All right, he got home. He made his case. He decided not to report the kid because the kid, listen, the kid's being a kid, you know. kids. There's something about the frontal lobe or something about uh, when, when you're under the age of 21, maybe 25. Uh, you know, it's just your frontal lobe is not completely developed yet, you know. I, you know, I have my PhD at uh, Florida University. That's a lie. But... Mystics did say, you know, being the, you know, Mystics being the man that he is says, but instead told the police that uh, he wishes the kid uh, gets the help, okay, to, to be in a better path, okay? Uh, yeah, it seems to be like there's a big major knife uh, uh, situation going on in Europe. It's, uh, I know we have a gun problem here in the U.S., uh, but I, I still think having a knife is a lot crazier than having a gun. That's just me. Once again, I, I grew up in this in this environment, so I kind of it's understandable. Once again, you probably grew up in that environment. It's kind of regular for you to be insane and stab somebody repeatedly for them to uh, to pass away. Okay, yeah, there was another situation in uh, I believe in the UK where there was a a 15 year old girl was stabbed by a 17 year old uh, boyfriend because he rejected him. It's just it's a sad, sad world that we're starting to live in, ladies and gentlemen. Just be aware of your surroundings and uh, just be careful out there. Okay. Um, because, uh, it's, it's a crazy world. Uh, but at the end of the day, the situation didn't escalate from there. Mystics, uh, props to mystics for being, once again, I, I, it's me being American. I would have cried like a little girl because I don't want to get stabbed to death. It's just something that's not, you know, a shot. Yeah. I, I'll take a bullet. That's fine. It's crazy to think, think about, but that's just me. But, uh, yeah, that's my take on it. You know, shouts out to mystics. Definitely give them a shout out. Uh, I mean, a look, and, uh, if you like this video, make sure you, like, comment, subscribe. All right. Leave a comment below. What would you do in this situation? Let me know what you think. And uh, like the video, to be honest with you. Okay. That was Dean's take. Take it easy. Stop the knife violence, man. I, I know it's not going to... Uh, me saying stop the knife violence is probably not going to help anything. But, you know, I've been finessed by it for 20 quid and, and covenant guarding by the people trying to stop the knife violence. Hopefully my 20 quid actually goes to something really well. All right. Peace.